and welcome to the Australian Inventors Laser Lab. Um, today we're going to cram quite a bit into this uh, video. Um, we're going to write some short programs uh, because I want to carry out some tests. I want to find out exactly how low this laser will go. In other words, what percentage of power output of the laser, what's the bare minimum? What, what percentage does it actually start to fire? Whether it's, I, I suspect it's around about 10%, uh, but it could be as low as eight or seven. So we're gonna find that out today. Then we're going to go up through the range in 5% increments, all the way up to 85% on the uh, program, which is 100 watts on 100% output of the, the tube. And we're going to um, see what happens. We're going to use two different types of material. We're going to use 10 millimeter acrylic, brilliant stuff uh, for lasers. This is the only plastic that you can actually cut in these machines. Um, the other type of, all the other types of plastic um, are not good for these types of machines or for your health. Um, they leave residues which can gum up the mechanism and even uh, play havoc with the electronics. So don't cut any other types of plastic other than acrylic. Um, also this MDF, the 3mm MDF, this um, white surface board, because this material um, actually leaves a good trace of the actual laser cut that you can measure and examine under the mic microscope and what have you. So those are the two materials that we're going to be using. Maybe we'll use um, thicker MDF as well up to possibly 18 mil. So what we're simply going to do is go to the, the line tool, um, zoom in to a square and pick a point here and pick a point here um, then go to the select tool and size it oh that's pretty close but we want it exactly 50 millimeter Incidentally, when I say, if I sometimes say 50 mil, I actually mean millimeter. <laughs> it's just a habit that I've, I suppose, got into over the years. So, um, okay, that's that one. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to select it again, and we're going to array copy. Um, now I think to begin with probably somewhere in the region we're, we're going to do 10 first of all I think 10 uh, we're going to have a 10 millimeter gap in between them and press OK that's a much easier way to co copy um, a number of lines. So we're going to start at, start off at the top line here, um, and we'll select that one. That was a black layer. Okay, so we're going to go to the second line down, and we're going to select a blue color or blue layer, and third one down, next color along, that one, green, that one, I think that's buff, I'm not sure, uh, yellow, cyan, brownish, greenish, and mauvish. Okay. So 
we're going to start off with this black layer here and no need to actually select those so you, you go here and select the black layer one and so we're gonna um, let me see 20 20 millimeter is uh, sorry 20 yeah 20 millimeter a second is fine we're gonna run the full test at that um, we'll leave those as they are and we're gonna start off at we're going to start off at 5%. I don't think the, the, the laser will fire at 5%, but we will find out. 5% and 5%. So this is uh, maximum minimum. That sounds like dinner. <laughs> okay, uh, blow in, yes, we'll have blow in. take a second I'm going to sec then go to this the next layer and all we're going to do is change the power and we're going to go six percent and six percent and calculate so I'm going to do the I'll switch the camera off now and I'll do the rest of these uh, going up in 1% uh, increments because uh, it, it's going to get very boring for you guys otherwise ok I've loaded up now the program in, uh, in the controller for the machine now I'm going to use the z height automatic setting system uh, on the back of this there is a, a, a magnetic sensor so this is just a piece of um, mild steel that's um, just actually painted. Uh, now I'm going to set set the level, and it's just um, really just press the uh, Z data in the program, and it automatically sets the level. So now I'm going to jog it. Um, up to the top here because what I want to do is I want to start the cut on here and I know the line is 50 millimeter long but I want to come off the material um, I think we'll start it there maybe a little bit further over make sure uh, the laser beam will be uh, defocused by the time it reaches this and you know the laser is going to be absorbed by this um, black mold steel anyway so we're going to run this in this uh, MDF white coated um, material first then we're going to run it in acrylic so here we go
Okay, that was the um, the first um, cut, and you'll notice that the laser did not fire until 10%. So that is the minimum. It doesn't even fire. It won't fire at 9%. So 10% is the absolute first time that the laser will fire. Uh, so that's 10 to 15, and this is in the white material. And now what I did to just prove the point, and I'll put it under the microscope in a minute to uh, if you'll be able to see better. But I run the test here first, um, out of focus. Um, and this is, let me see, this is three, let me see, three, four, four, five millimeter? Yeah, five millimeter out of focus. In other words, too close. So you can see it's a very wide cut. Uh, and it did actually cut, make a bit of a cut there at um, at um, 10 watts or 10 percent rather um, and yeah there's 10 percent again to 15 and we'll have a look at these underneath the microscope okay so the line that we're looking at here is that 10% cut and um, we'll put the graticule on here now and you'll see now before we was closer to the three than what we was the two but this time now it's in focus is exactly 0 0.2 millimeter so that's probably the best that we can expect uh, from this um, two inch focal lens on this laser so you can see it it is very very small it's a very very small um, cut um, for example the out of focus ones it's a big trench big trench and it's even more than it's even more than uh, 0 0.5 of a millimeter so there we go so if that little experiment has shown us an awful lot actually Okay, this time we're going to start off at 10 watts and work all our way, or 10%, and work all our way up through in 5% increases to 85%, which is 100 watts on this machine, and we're going to cut it in acrylic. Okay, <clears throat> so I just did that, that run just now, and um, yeah, it was as, it, as expected, all the way from 10 all the way up to um, 85%, but it didn't actually uh, penetrate all the way through. Uh, so what I did, I, I run a couple of tests, and what I found was that 85% um, and uh, 10 millimeters per second cuts clean through and uh, leaves it nice. So what I'm going to actually do is cut a square out now which is 50mm um, by 50mm or 2 inch square.
and in actual fact it does come out Look at that beautiful, beautiful flame polished edge. Now, like I keep on saying to you, you guys, this is a professional machine. And there it is. It'd be interesting to actually measure that. Let's see what we got here. Set on zero. Hang on. Well, that was 50 millimeter. So the accuracy of this machine is within what? A couple of that? A couple of thousandths of an inch. I mean, that's it. That is the accuracy of this machine, and this is a laser. You'd have to spend an awful lot of money to get a laser with that accuracy. And th we have made this machine as a handyman unit, uh, someone that can have one of these in their, their, their own garage, um, start a home business, a hobby, and that's the sort of accuracy you get with all of our machines. So I hope you've liked the video today and please subscribe, press like and um, please visit one of my channels. I've got two now. This is uh, the dedicated to lasers. I do have a few of these videos up on my other channel, which is um, the Australian Inventors Workshop, where it's devoted to um, CNC router machines and uh, wood lathes, which we also manufacture. So, thank you for watching, and it's uh, bye for now.